Now, in the last one month, 10,000 people have been displaced in Samburu County following tribal clashes. The situation has worsened since last November's Baragoy massacre of more than 40 police officers. Leaders there have been accused of fanning the animosity by inciting those from their communities against their perceived rivals. KTN's senior reporter, Carol Derry, has just returned from Samburu County and brings us the untold story of these two neighboring communities. The hills at Opiloi in Samburu County mesmerized us. Such beautiful scenery and the grazing animals that we saw on our way to Maralal. But the tribal conflict that continued to rock parts of Samburu County with this year alone 61 reported deaths. A pale shadow of these sceneries is painted. Mass of people are moving. The situation is getting out of hand. According to the Kenya Red Cross, the conflict has escalated since last November when more than 40 police officers were killed in Baragoy area and guns and ammunition stolen. We have over 90 casualties, people with uh, gun injuries. The Samburu and the Turkana point a blaming finger at each other for fueling the standoff and blaming the government for taking sides. Na kwa mkwa sisi, ati nazema na saidiwa na kawu nte Turkana. Kawu nte Turkana, tiziko na kufa, na vulichi ya kawu nte Turkana. Siakuna, sasa chida ni hiyo. Sijui kujibu mambo ya pita kwa sababu. Sijaenda kuchokosa wa, wa Turkana. Hiyo shida. Tabasari sirikali iko wapi. 16-year-old Nturumet Leribo is fighting for her life at the Maralal District Hospital. She was shot on Wednesday at Mabati area about an hour after our crew had passed through the area. The bullet hit her on her back and exited from her abdomen. Maralal Hospital has been receiving many victims of the conflict. About 1,800 households have been displaced in Samburu County in the last one month and close to 10,000 people are living in miserable conditions, having fled their homes to go into hiding. 500 people are living here in Barsaroi, having fled the Suyan area. At the Wasurungai area, we were forced to climb the Mount Nero Hills for more than an hour to access the people seeking shelter here, also forced to leave their homes and hide in the hills. It is too cold for them here. Four women have been forced to give birth in the bush. No medical amenities or personnel to attend to them or their newborns. The mobile clinic in the area was closed after the conflicts intensified. 21-year-old Salfa Lekaswiyan has a 12-day-old baby. The baby has not been immunized nor attended to by any medic. Salfa herself does not have enough milk for the baby as there's hardly enough to eat. Previously here in Kawap village, there would be activity, perhaps little children running around, the women going on with their activities and the men too carrying on with their day. But now a deafening silence meets us here at Kawap village. The area is deserted. Those from Kawap have been forced to seek refuge in Lingima. Christine Correa says the relief food supplies are dwindling fast and this is worrying as they have not received much help from their leaders. Diseases have caught up with many, especially the children who have started diarrhea and coughing. According to authorities here, the process of disarming both communities is the first step in dealing with the menace. Two months down the line, the government our presence has not been felt by the people. The disarmament exercise has not been without hitches, especially given the fact that there are guns that were given to the Kenya police reservists illegally. In the meantime, it has been very difficult to even hold a peace meeting. It is not the responsibility of government only. It is not the responsibility of uh, security personnel only to ensure that there is peace. It is the responsibility of each and every Tukana in uh, Samburu North. It is the responsibility of each and every Samburu in Samburu North to preach peace and to ensure that there is harmony. 
There are fears that the conflict may worsen, more people might lose their lives, property loss and more injuries sustained if the security arms do not intervene. Uh, they've been given uh, amnesty for two weeks to, to return the guns. Nobody's going to be covered. Carol Derry for KTN in Samburu County.